All right, everybody, we've got an EMOM today. We need a couple of medium sets of weights, 10s, 20s, 30s, something like that. Nothing too super heavy. We're gonna do a lot of reps today. We're gonna push this EMOM to the limit, all right? So get your mind ready, get your brain right, get your body going, and let's warm up here. Jumping jacks has started out. Let's go, come on. Like I mentioned in the warm-up room here, we have, we're gonna push ourselves today, right? Eight different exercises, three rounds, 24 sets, 30 minutes. If you can't finish the rep count in the allotted minute, just, you know, do what you can. Make sure you get a quick rest in before you start the next one and keep going, all right? The idea is that you want to finish up the reps before you get to the end of that minute, right? That's the idea. Give yourself a little rest, and then we move on. Three, two, one, let's go. Lunge it forward, right, left, all right? You can step forward, step back, whatever your space allows, wherever you are, okay? Good, just getting that lower body warm right now. Couple more here. Shoot back into plank. Down, quick upper dog. Stretch it side to side. Remember, you don't have to be consecutive with the reps. Push to downward dog, right? If it's 10 reps in the one minute time period, you could do two, three reps, take a break, come back in and do more. Just try to get the rep count done. Bring that right leg up. Big runner stretch here. Shoot the right foot back. Left foot comes forward. Big stretch. Good. Swing it around. Point out sumo. Rock side to side. Hands on the ground. Come on up. All the way, all the way, all the way. Big arms pull wide. The chest, swing it. One more, pull wide. One more, pull wide. Good, arm circles here. Bring those feet in a little closer. Okay, you can just step the feet out here. We're getting those shoulders warm. Backwards now, fingertips pointed down. Open them up, make them big. Spread that chest cavity. Good. Hug it out. All right, while we're here, seal jacks, come on. Feed it in and out while we're hugging it. Good. Bring them up and down. A little more cardio here to get us set up. Good. All right, 20 seconds, we're going into it. Get yourself ready, 20 double kettle swings. I want you swinging through the legs with the dumbbells, okay? And through it up. So you push forward with those hips to get those weights right up to about that collarbone, okay? Let's go, three. Two, one, we got 25 reps. One, two, okay? Three, you push four, five. It's an easy one, right, to start out with. We're opening up still. We're using that core to push those weights up high, keeping the arms as a pendulum, right? 25 total reps. Whatever, what always happens, you guys keep going in these EMOMs is that first move feels super easy. It feels like you have an eternity until the next one comes up. But as we go on, the time starts getting shorter and shorter and shorter. It takes longer and longer. Okay, good. We still have about 24 seconds left. Still push through. Remember, you're pushing through with the hips. You're not lifting with the arms like this, okay? It's all from the hips. Good. 15 seconds left. We got 20, sorry, 15 squat hammer curls coming up. I'll go for a little bit heavier weight on this one. I'll demo it. We're going in five seconds. You squat down low, you pop up. You hammer curl, okay, 15 reps, let's go. Down, up, curl, down, up, curl. Make sure you keep those elbows in as you're squeezing up top. Okay, on the biceps, working on the outer part of the bicep here. And then working on that lower body in that squat. Down nice and low. Make sure you have a flat back as you go down and pop up. You lock the elbows in the side, okay? 15 total reps here. We're about halfway through that minute. So use the minute as you see fit. Do two, three, four reps if you have to. Take a break. Come back in. You have to do 15 total reps. And like I said in the beginning, if you don't hit the rep count, don't worry about it. Just get to the point where you're feeling that burn and you can't do anymore. You know you hit, you know you hit the limit and you can always do more on the next round, okay? We gotta do this three times. So next one we got, 20. I grab my lighter weight in this one. Lunge, get in the lunge position, jump over the top, and 20 reps here. One, 
two, three. Leading foot on the jump is where you hit the weight over the top of the rainbow, okay? That's it. So pick a good weight, one that requires you to put some effort into that twist, working on the core, working on the front leg as you lunge down and hit that front lunge position, okay? Try to get that 90 degree bend in that front leg as well. So over the top, 20 total reps. That's all we gotta do, okay? The heavier the weight, the harder it's gonna be, obviously. So heavy it up if you can. We're going down to the floor on the next one. 15 chest press supinations, right, with the, with the leg lift. So I'll show you here. We're down on the floor. As you press up, you turn and you lift the leg. One, two, alternate the leg. Three, we got it, 15 total reps. Everybody down, three, two, one, let's go. Push. There's two. There's three, we're working the core. Chest, shoulders, triceps, all at the same time. Okay, and as you bring that weight in and you twist it, you'll start to feel that lower chest activate, inner chest as well. So we want to get a full 360 work on that chest and those pecs. And then we alternate the legs. The legs are hovering off the ground the entire time, okay? 15 total reps. Try to keep the legs as straight as you possibly can. You go with it, you go with it, you go with it until you can't go anymore. Good work, guys. Looks like everyone's finishing up pretty soon here. We got 20 seconds left. I'll demo up the next move for you. All right, we're gonna keep pushing. 20 thrusters. Get my mat out of the way here. Simple, grab your weights, front rack, squat down, shoot them up overhead. Okay, 20 total reps. Try to heavy up the weight if you can. Let's go. Down. One, two, three. Four, five. If you find it's too easy, you heavy up your weight. You grab another set of dumbbells, right? You can always put them down. There's time. You get a heavier set, and you go with it, okay? Same rule applies. If you're on maybe rep 10, rep 11, and you're like, I can't do another one, drop the weight, finish it out. Finish those reps out with the lower weight, okay? Whew. Next move we have coming up, I'll demo it for you as you guys are still finishing up. It's gonna be a push up on your dumbbells into a renegade row. Eight reps, but it's three moves to make one, one rep. So it's push up, row, row. That's one rep, okay? You can do it on your knees if you need to as well. Five, four, we're going in three, two, one. If you're not finishing up with the other exercise, okay, now's the time. Take a quick pause, get in and go. Here's two. I know we did a ton of push-ups yesterday, so everybody's chest is probably pretty beat up. I didn't want to go over the top on the push-up today, so just eight, okay, but you got to do those two pulls at the same time, work and push and pull together. Once again, you don't have to be linear. You don't have to go from, you know, one to eight on this without stopping. You can take your breaks, feel it out, get back into it. The number's there for a reason, okay? Just try your best to finish it up. All right? Good work, guys. Keep pushing. Push up, pull, pull. We got 15 seconds. Dumbbell, lunge, snatch. Grab with your right hand. You jump forward with the left foot. Weight goes up overhead. You switch to the other side, okay? Fifth, we got 10 of these, let's go. Right arm up, left foot forward, back. Swing it, other side, right foot forward, left arm up. Lock it out on top, that's two reps. Make sure you set the weight down safely here. Switch arms, Boom. up overhead. And once again, the point is, you're not pressing here, you're just swinging the weight up. And as you reach that midway point, your legs come forward and the weight automatically goes up overhead. And then all the energy ends up being right down there in that lower body as you lock out that arm, okay? 10 total reps. Keep them going, right? It's a hard move, especially once you heavy up that weight. Good. Last move of the sequence here is going to be 15, 18 catcher burpees. Tough. Down. One. Okay, back. Two. Back. Three. Got it? Let's go. 18 total. Three, two, one. We're on the clock. 
One, two, three, four. You go along at your own pace. Get as many as you can in. 18 is a high number, especially at this point in the workout. You have a full minute to get it done. Try your best, all right? Come on. I want you looking up at me as you finish. Boom, high plank position. Lock out that core. Everything is straight. Flat back, okay? 30 seconds to go. We're gonna go right back to the top again for the first of those eight moves. Good work, guys. Couple people still finishing up. You go with it. Woo! Right back into those double kettle swings. All right, if you can, have you up to wait? Just round 25. One, two, three, let's go. And we're on the clock, come on. You got 25 reps here. All right? There's 10 for me. Boom, all right? So if I'm feeling it now, no problem. I can set my weights down. I still got 42 seconds left, right? Pop back in when I'm ready, and I continue. That's what it's all about. Imam is about completion of work, okay? A lot of times we do moves for reps. You can take your rest as you need them. Here, you've got to hit that rep count. It's a mental game, all right? So, like I said in the beginning, if you don't hit the rep count, don't worry about it. But I want you to push hard and try to get them done. All right, we got 15 squat hammer curls coming up next. Quick demo here before we start. We got eight seconds before we're going. So squat, lock it in, hammer curl. All right, three, two, one. Let's go down. Curl it up. 15 total reps here. That's two. Each two is one rep. Three. All right. So even if you just did 15 reps, just standing there, you know, with a heavy enough weight doing hammer curls, you're gonna burn those biceps, you're gonna feel it. You add the squat into it, now you got your metabolic conditioning involved, body's working, multiple levels, multiple large muscle groups, all begging for blood right now. All right, so the body's trying to deliver. That's what's making you tired. Good, 18 seconds, we got 20, Lunge, jump, rainbow's coming up. Okay, so that right leg's forward. The left leg, either one you want to start with, go over the top, to the left, over the top, back to the right, okay? Three, two, one, let's go. 20 reps. There's two. There's three. There's four. Five. Six. Seven. We got it? Good. So if you need to take your break, Absolutely fine, otherwise you power through and you'll have plenty of rest. Come on guys, good work. All right, here's my 20. Feeling it, I got 30 seconds to break. Of course, you're doing more work than me. A little bit easier for me. Chest press, supination on the ground with that leg kick. Let's get them set here. Plenty of time, just getting set up. Lying down on the floor. Remember, as you press, you turn them in. And your leg goes up and down. And up and down. We got to try to hover those legs the entire time. 15 reps, come on, let's go. One. Two. Three. Got it? So if you were with us yesterday, you know, how tough we worked that chest. Tons of push-ups in that body weight extravaganza. So we might be a little bit sore today. Use a lighter weight, work that core, get the reps in and go all the way. All right, good work. Woo, feeling it. 20 seconds, 25 seconds left here roughly. Finish it out. Good work, guys. We got 20 dumbbell thrusters coming up. Again, pick a weight that works, whether that's fives, tens, twenties, thirties, whatever it is for you. Okay, you front rack them, big squat down. Use the energy from coming from the bottom to the top to get those weights up. Down, up, 
20 reps. That's it. Here's eight for me. I'm feeling like this is too light, All right? So I'm gonna put them down. I'm gonna grab a heavier set. You do the same thing too, if you're feeling that way. All right, plenty of time to get it done. We got our push-ups coming up next with those renegade rows. I'll demo that for you quickly. On the ground here, you do your push-up, your row, and your row. That's one rep. Remember to keep that body looking towards the ground, head towards the ground, body towards the ground, centered here. Try not to open up and twist too much. Keep the back flat, all right? Eight reps, but it's three moves per rep. Let's go. Three, two, one. Let's go down, up, pull, pull. There's one. Down, up, pull, pull. That's two. If you're on your knees, you're right here. Down, up, pull, pull. All right? Same idea. You're just changing your balance point, make it a little bit easier for yourself. If you can do the push-ups and you're having trouble with the row, on your toes, you can lighten up the weight too, okay? Widen up your feet. That'll give you a little bit more of the base of support. So if your feet are narrow, bring them out wide in that plank position. Make it a little bit easier for yourself, okay? We got our alternating snatch lunge coming up next. I'm gonna go with the 30. Feeling good here. Once again, you jump forward with the left. Right arm up overhead, down, switch the weight. Right leg forward, left arm straight up overhead. Okay, let's go. Three, two, one. Come on, 10 reps. One, down. If you felt like it was too easy, then round one, pick up that heavier weight. Go with it. All right. That's it, guys. Let me see you. Let me see it. Good work, good work. Get that arm straight on top. Try to lock it out as much as you can. Good work. That's it. Get down low in that lunge, front leg, bent 90 degrees. Keep it going. Finish up your reps. We got those 18 catcher burpees coming up to finish it out. It's a high burpee, so it's a high plank. Right to here, boom. Right up, 18 total, okay? Five seconds, three, two, and let's go, back, up, two, three. Notice I have a little bit of a pause right here to make sure that I'm getting that nice flat lockout on the bottom, okay? I'm not trying to rush through it. I know I have 60 seconds to get 18 reps in. If you stay pretty consistent with the movement, you should be able to complete that in about 35 seconds, all right? So a few of you are gonna be finishing up right now. Others are still going. Good work, guys. 16 reps, 16 sets through our 24 right now. Great work. Third and final round coming up. It's that quick, 30 minutes just goes by. We've got those double kettle swings with the dumbbells. Swing them through, thrust up. 25 reps, let's go. And time. That's it. Ha. 10 for me, come on, keep going guys, keep pushing. You got this. I know it hurts, it's not supposed to feel great. You're gonna start to feel it in your glutes hip flexors, and your core. You might feel it in your forearms a little bit if you're holding on to those weights tightly, all right? I don't want them flying out of your hands, but you don't have to have a super tight grip, all right? Just hold on to it enough that it's not flying away from you. Good work, good work. 15 squat, hammer curls coming up next. Once again on the demo, squat down low, hammer curl, elbows locked in the side, squeeze on top, let's go. Five seconds, 15 reps, come on. And down, up, 
Looks like everyone's finishing up with good time today. So I'm proud of all of you, my super fit crew that's here with me every day. And you guys on demand, right? We're seeing the progress, we're seeing the results. We did this, we did this 200, 250 workouts ago. Not everybody would be finishing. But because you're here, putting in the consistent effort every single day, right? Yeah, that's how you see the results. The consistency, the determination, the dedication. You've got it all. All right, and it makes me proud. Good, 20 seconds to go, guys. Keep pushing. I know it's a lot of reps. These two and ones, they add up, even though they seem low. Like I said in the beginning, had 40 seconds to rest maybe after that first move. Now we're down to 10. Still got people working. 20 lunge, jump, rainbows. Grab your lightweight. We go. Three, two, one, let's go. 20 reps. Two, three, four, five, six. Again, I'm not moving super fast. You can see I have a little bit of a pause here, a little bit a deliberate pause as the weight comes down to the side, right? Activating the core, making sure that this leg is bent low enough and you're feeling it, okay? That's the idea, I always preach this. If you're here, if you're here and you made it to this part of your day, you made it to the workout and you're in it, push as hard as you can. You've already gotten over the hard part, which is showing up. All right, you've got that conquered. Now it's time to put your full effort in, dedicate your time, it's the most precious thing in the world, to getting the most results out of this right now. 15 seconds, guys. Way to go, everybody's finished up at home. We got those 15 chest press supinations with the leg kick coming up. Down on the floor, get on your mat. Lay down, three, two, one. Press it, turn it, lift it. Two, three, four, come on. That's it. Whew. Right? We're bringing those elbows down just so when they tap the floor, that's the point at which you know they go back up again, all right? So finish out your reps. We got plenty of time here, 30 seconds, guys. You're doing great. Just wanna check the form on everybody. Yeah, awesome work, awesome work. Good, I love those straight legs. You guys are doing great. All right, we got our thrusters coming up, 20 of them. So I'll demo one last time here. Front rack, nice and low, shoot up overhead. That push overhead, if you're new to this, it shouldn't feel like you're doing a shoulder press. The weight should naturally flow up based on how much energy you're getting from the bottom. Let's go, down, up, 20 reps, two, three. And you pick your weight, right? All right, good. Let me see, if you can, good. You can widen up those feet a little bit if it helps you. Right? If you're a little narrow here, that might set you off balance. So widen up those feet a little bit more. Give yourself a little bit of base and support. Absolutely fine. Find where it's comfortable, okay? These are tough exercises. Everybody's body's different. Set your feet maybe a little wider than the shoulder width apart, all right? Eight push ups to Renegade Rose coming up with the dumbbells. At this point, if you can't lift another thing, you just do them without the dumbbells on the ground, okay? you be right here. Push up, row, row. Otherwise, grab your weights. Let's go, we got eight reps. Down, pull, pull, push, pull, pull, right? Or on the knees. And if you're on the knees and you feel like you wanna pull, you can come up to your toes and do the pull as well. Or you can do it on your knees here and do your two pulls off the knees as well. Absolutely fine, as long as you are engaging and squeezing the lats back there as you do that. Lock out the core, whether you're here or you're here. You still gotta squeeze those glutes, tighten up those quads, hamstrings, push the heels towards the back of the wall. All right, good. 10 alternating dumbbell lunge snatch coming up. This is it, we're getting down to the end, guys. 10 seconds, we're hitting it one more time here, boom. Down, boom, all right, there's a demo. We're going in five, four, three, two, one, come on. 
up overhead. Down. Lock it out. A little bit of a pause right there so I know that you hit it, all right? It's kind of like an Olympic weightlifting, right? If you were to do this in Olympic weightlifting, they'd be like, that's not a rep. You gotta lock it out, show the judges that you've completed the form, hold it till that buzzer hits. Put a buzzer in your mind, all right? Boop, down, all right? There. Okay, once you see you have control, you can hold it and the weight's where it needs to be, the rep's counted. All right, so be your own judge. 20 seconds, we're going on to our last move. I wanna see you guys go full out here. We got the 18 catcher burpees, gonna get my mat out of the way. Right, down, up, down, up. Let's go, three, two, one, back, up. You've reached the final set, your 24th set, right? You've been basically non-stop working for 24 minutes straight. We gotta cool down, we gotta warm up. Those are part of the workout, okay? They're not as intense as what we're doing right now, but they're an important, integral, and necessary part of it. So yesterday we did 38 minutes, today we're doing 30. That's all based on what we're doing, okay? The body doesn't need to be crushed every single day. You need to put it through its paces, work hard each time, you put in the effort, you'll see the results. Come on. Smart programming equals smart outcomes. Okay, 10 seconds left, guys. A couple of people still working. Come on. Way to go, Frederick. Joanna, come on, keep pushing it. Five seconds to finish out. I'll do it with you. Three, two, one. Way to go. Awesome work, guys. Woo, that was a tough one. I'm sweating. It's about 28 degrees outside. Not much warmer in here. I just didn't have the heat on today, so I'm sweating. So that's definitely a tough workout. Let's get cool down. Let's go right down to that runner's lunge. Left leg forward, right leg back. Plant that right arm on the ground. Reach up with the left. Big world's greatest stretch here. Other side, switch it. Left leg goes back, right leg comes up. Nice big stretch here, feel it first. Then reach your right arm up, right? We wanna feel these stretches, you wanna breathe. We're not just going through the motions. Come on down. Push it back, drop the knees to the ground, Cobra. Look up in the air. Got a nice core stretch there today. We went after it indirectly in every single exercise. Good, push back, child's pose. Butt touches the heels. Don't forget to breathe here. Try to leave the fingertips where they are as you come back and stretch out. Whew. All right, have a seat. Legs out, straight ahead of you, toes up. Reach up, exhale, reach over the toes. Try to get nice and low down towards the, uh, head towards the, the knees here. You know, we could try to get down super low, but we just really wanna actively stretch here right now. We don't have to go over the top. Yeah, as you exhale each time, try to get a little lower while trying to keep that back as flat as you can. Good. Come up in the table, push it up. Stretch out the front of the shoulders the chest, drop the head back, look up, enjoy that, good, have a seat one more time, feet together, lean out over the front, grab those toes, inhale and exhale as you stretch forward here, good, all right, one minute left in our cool down, come on up, wide feet here, big side bend to support on the right side with your right arm above the knee, and switch it to the other side. Reaching over, you can look up in the eye of the elbow there. Good. Other side, left and right. Good. Quad stretch, right leg planted. Grab the left, knee to knee. Exaggerate the stretch here, push the core forward. Same thing, other side. Left foot down, grab the right, knee to knee. All right, you don't want to be out here like this or anywhere. Just try to bring the knees together in line. That's it. Okay, reach up, hands above the head, pull wide, clasp behind you, high, push down low, look up as you stretch out the shoulders and the top of the chest. Three, two, one, 
That's it. Imam in the books, guys. Way to push today. That was a tough metabolic conditioning workout in an Imam fashion. So you got your weights, you got your sweat, you got everything you need. I'll see you live, guys, in the cool down room. Everybody else, I'll see you next time. Have a great rest of your day.